protesters livid at what Trump just secretly did behind all of their backs. He got the last laugh by Sassy Liberty for DailyVine.com. More than 800,000 people took to the streets of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., on Saturday, demanding to give up their rights to the government. Even more people chose to rally in other cities across the nation, demanding that same government protect them instead of choosing to protect themselves in a rally dubbed the March for Our Lives. The Associated Press called the March for Our Lives the largest youth-led protest since the Vietnam War era, and uh, even the Pope weighed in during his uh, Palm Sunday sermon, urging the student-led movement to push forward with its efforts. Yeah, yeah, the Pope, you know where he can go. The temptation to silence young people has always existed, uh, Pope Francis the weirdo said. Yet when one uh, does even a modicum of research, they see this was not and is not a student-led movement. Mm -hmm. That's right, it's not a March for Our Lives. Uh, Action Fund is registered with the District of Columbia Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs on February 21st, 2018 as a Delaware-based organization with a business address in Encino, California. The registered agent for the Fund CT Corporation System, a D.C.-based firm that handles compliance issues, Jerry Rhodes, is listed as the executive officer for the filing. It's funded by the DNC, all of this, and we still can't get to who did it, right? So the DNC funded this, uh, this rally. Rhodes is the Associate Executive uh, Secretary of Finance and Administration for the Friends Committee. Who cares? I could care less. Rhodes uh, was uh, joined by every major player and organization pushing the gun control agenda, including every town, Giffords, Move On, and Women's March LA. They, they are joined by Planned Parenthood and the George Soros-funded Move On uh, the Hollywood crowd has thrown their hats into the mix, as well as uh, Jennifer Hudson, uh, Hudson Ariana Gra Grande, uh, Demi Lovato, Common, Vic Mensa, Andra Day, and Miley Cyrus. Uh, yeah, and uh, also, uh, what's his name from the Beatles? Uh, John, uh, J not John, what, uh, Paul McCartney, excuse me. Paul McCartney was there. Cher was there. Uh, what's that other actress, uh, his name, that played on 101 Dalmatians? In other words, the whole Hollywood, uh, uh, you know, crowd over there getting together there. Uh, George Clooney donated the $500,000, as well as Jimmy Fallon and Steven Spielberg, among others. Well, I'm going to boycott their movies now. Uh, all of these people screaming to give up their rights to sell protection to the government rather than recognizing that the incident that took place there in Florida is an example of an epic failure of home, family, church, community, school, law enforcement, and others. Many of these people are blaming inanimate and non-sentient uh, objects. Like you're blaming uh, an inanimate object it, it can't do anything unless the uh, person behind it does something, right? And all of these groups and uh, people are screaming at the president and his administration do something. What a load of... You know, are these people just so stupid? Yes. Except President Trump has chosen to disregard the ravings of the mad, choosing not to respond to those who are content to give up their personal liberties for safety. President Trump took to Twitter, as is his standard, choosing instead to tweet about the horrible uh, ISIS-led terror attack on, the, uh, on a supermarket in the south of France, which left three people dead. I had no idea. There was no mention of the March for Our Lives Gun Control Advocacy March, we're just feet away from President Trump's weekly, uh, weekday uh, residence at the White House. People were clamoring for gun control. Yeah, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims. Yeah, 
of the horrible attack in France yesterday, and we grieve the nation's loss. We also condemn the violent actions of the attacker and anyone who would provide him support. We are with you. Uh, Emmanuel Macron, another idiot. Instead, the president's motorcade was seen traveling through the streets of Palm Beach, Florida, towards Mar-a-Lago without so much as an acknowledgement of the ongoing protest back in Washington. Palm Beach is just a short drive from Parkland, Florida, where the horrific uh, incident to took place on Valentine's Day. Yeah, we all know about it. In the past, Saturday mornings have been a key time during President Trump's schedule where he would uh, take to social media to speak about issues of the week or whatever was on his mind. Instead, the White House chose to acknowledge the protest with one simple statement. We applaud the many courageous young Americans exercising their First Amendment rights today. Keeping our children safe is a top priority of the president's, which is why he urged Congress to pass the Fix NICS and Stop School Violence Acts and sign them into law. Anyway, they're not going to agree with anything Trump says, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, it, it just goes on. Uh, the Daily Mail describes the criticism uh, put forth against the president after his meeting. To me, there can be nothing worse than uh, what you've gone through, he told the victims, before bringing up reforms to the system that his administration had backed publicly. He told the survivors... Uh, and parents that he grieved for them during the listening session, yeah, okay, shortly after the meeting. This was back then. Uh, the president came under fierce criticism last month after a photo emerged of him holding a note written on White House letterhead. Yeah, I remember that, reminding him to listen to the concerns where it says, uh, uh, I hear you. Yeah, okay, so we're going to read three hours for that. Um, in Turkey, gun resignation happened in 1911. From 1915 to 1923, some 2 million Armenians and others were exterminated. That's right. There you go. Give up your guns, huh, and that's what happens. And that's a Hitler move. Right or wrong? That's what ha And Hitler, uh, I read an article today that that's what they he used. He tried to get the young kids involved. Uh, with the gun control, that's how uh, he gained power and uh, did what he did because there was nobody to uh, put him in his place the way our forefathers had said. You have to arm yourself in the case of government tyranny. It was stated, right? So these idiots, you know, that are marching because they're brainwashed since children, the whole education system, they're teaching the kids to be dumb uh, instead of questioning things and uh, uh, teaching them about things. Listen, in school they teach you nothing except for reading and writing and spelling. That's basically all you need school for. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, believe me, they teach you nothing. They want you real dumb. That's what they want in school. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.